In this video, we'll be going over the Fin5 DB Builder Equip Tree. The tree can be shown and hidden by clicking on the Select Tree drop-down on the top left corner of the tree menu. At the bottom of the tree menu to the left, we have our basic features, such as adding, deleting, and editing Equip Tree related records, such as sites, floors, equipment, and points. In the same section of the menu, we can also find our Equip Tree tools, which are categorized into sections based on their functionality. Clicking on the Equip Tree itself brings up a unique high level overview with segregated tabs for each of the different architectural levels. Each tab opens up a unique and interactive grid that allows users to easily view and edit records on the fly. These tabular views are all designed to be context sensitive, so the data that appears in each tab will also be determined and filtered by the current navigational context. The amount of points being displayed and the total amount of results are noted on the bottom left corner of the grid view. These default parameters can be increased or decreased by clicking on the icon on the very bottom, which then allows the user to select the max number of results per query and the max number of items to be displayed per page. The grid itself is interactive and dynamically responsive. For example, if you select the checkbox next to a record, you'll notice that the selected button gets a badge displaying the number of selected points. By clicking on the actual selected button, the grid instantly toggles to a view showing only the records that were selected. The name field dropdown allows the user to select whether they want to see the display names or the nav names of the given results. On the top right corner of the points tab, users can also toggle between viewing the actual values or references of the given results. Users can also toggle the live option which then enables the grid to automatically commence updating values live as they change in the database. To the right of the live button, users will find a pencil icon that when clicked on provides the user with the standard edit, duplicate, and delete options, which will only affect the selected records within the grid. Next to the pencil icon, we have a gear icon that contains various tools related to the equip tree. And the final icon to the very right provides the user with the options of downloading the selected records as a Zinc, JSON, or TRIO file. Each individual column within the grid comes with its own search and filter function that allows for the user to easily sort their results even further. For example, if we go to the marker column and click on the search icon, we can select any tag to filter by. Once a tag is selected, we only see the results that contain that tag. As we dive deeper into the equip tree, we'll notice that each additional level of the architecture has an essentials tab, a summary tab, and some additional related graphics tabs. The essentials tab displays various tags and essentials based on the selected record. It also allows for the user to add, edit, and delete these properties as needed. The top right corner of the Essentials section has an Information button which brings up the Property Editor for more advanced editing. The icon to the right of that brings up a list of tools related to the given record. The Marker Tag section below allows for the user to add records by clicking on the plus button to the right and remove records by clicking on the X next to the Marker Tag. The very last section displays the record's property tags. Property tags can be added by clicking on the plus button to the far right. This brings up an empty property tag that can be filled out and added to the record. The next tab utilizes a grid view to display a summary of the selected record's properties, which can vary based on what type of record is selected. If a site or equip is selected, the grid view will display a summary of the selected record's children and supply various record-specific tools and options at the very bottom. If a point is selected, the grid view will display a summary of the selected point's individual properties. Going back to the Equip Tree menu on the left, you'll notice that as you hover over the different levels of the architecture, three different icons appear. The first icon to the left allows the user to instantly update the current navigational context 
to be that record. The second icon takes that record as the context and brings up the high level point overview displaying only the points that reference that record. The third icon to the very right allows the user to refresh that given record and anything in the tree below it. And that pretty much sums up the Finn 5.0 DB Builder Equip Tree. Thanks for watching.